Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'd like to take a look at KuCoin token as I think it has massive potential. And so they have recently launched KuCoin Community Chain, so I'm going to be looking at that and going to take a look at the chart as well and where I think this is heading. I'm also going to be comparing this to BNB with Binance Smart Chain as the token has went from $50 from the beginning of this year all the way up to $700. And I'm also going to be taking a look at an article at the end of this video showing how much money KuCoin has been making this year. And so if you're interested in that, definitely stay until the end of the video. And so if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. This is just my opinion. And so let's get started here. Let's take a look at KuCoin Exchange. And so they are stating that one out of the four crypto holders worldwide is with KuCoin. And so if you're interested in signing up for this platform, there is a link below. And so I'd also like to take a look at this as well. This is KCC. So this is KuCoin Community Chain, and this was recently launched on June 16th. And so their goal is to create a platform very similar to Binance Smart Chain, where other cryptocurrencies can build upon it. And so it is built by KCS and KuCoin fan communities. KCC is a decentralized public chain with high performance. Its purpose is to solve the problems such as low performance and high cost of public chain to provide community users with faster, more convenient, and low-cost experience. And so we can see here it is compatible with ERC-20 smart contracts, and so there is extremely low cost in migration. And so this is the one thing that I would like to focus on here is KuCoin token KCS is the only fuel and native token for KCC and can be used to pay gas fees. And so I think this is what is going to continue to increase the value of KCS token. So as I've stated, this is very similar to Binance and BSC, Binance Smart Chain. As to buy any tokens that are built on the Binance Smart Chain, you have to go to Binance and buy BNB, and then you transfer that to PancakeSwap or another decentralized exchange to purchase these tokens. And so I can see the same thing happening with KCC as well. As these tokens are more developed and more cryptocurrencies built on this platform, there's going to be more people buying KCS since it is the native token. And so I think this will continue to increase the value for, for KCS. And so I'd also like to take a look at the chart here as well. And so we're back on KuCoin here. And so we can see here that over the last week, this has went up substantially. It was trading right around $7 and then at a high of about $14.50. And so there was potential there for about 100% gain. So I have been talking about this since it was under $10. And so here's what I'm planning on for this cryptocurrency. We can see there is strong support here at $10.40. And so since we went all the way up, we have bounced off this at $10.40. And so since then, we have went up to about $14.30. And then it was rejected at the resistance line. And then we have found support at the 200 moving average. And so we can see that's very good here since we are looking like we are starting to go back up. If we do not hold this, I am expecting to see support back at $10.40. And so I think this is very good here. We are seeing higher lows from the $10.40 down here if this does bounce off the 200 moving average. And so what I'm looking for here is if it does break through this $14.30, I'm looking for a retest of that. And then I am looking for a price target of $15.60. And so if we do break through that, my next target is $20. And so if we do break through $20, which is the all time high, I think this token will continue to go exponentially going forward. And so I'd like to take a look at KuCoin token on coin market cap. And so as we can see, the current market cap of this is about $1 billion and the total supply is 170 million tokens. And so we can see down here that KCS is the native token of KuCoin, which was launched back in 2017 as a profit sharing token that allows traders to draw value from the exchange. And so the total supply of KCS was set at 200 million and there's a planned buyback and burn until just 100 million KCS remain. And so this is the exact same as Binance coin as well. There was a total supply of 200 million BNB coins and then they are planning on burning 100 million of them until 50% of the supply remain. And so this is very similar to BNB. And so one other thing with KCS as well is they offer a KCS bonus that is one of the best ways to get a passive income. And so users who hold more than six KCS can get a daily dividend, which comes from the 50% of KuCoin's daily trading fee revenue. And so I think there's a lot of potential for KuCoin here. I'd like to compare this to Binance Coin as well. And so we can see that the market cap here is substantially more since this is trading at $315. And so we can see that the market cap is about $48 billion. And so this is about 48 times more than KCS right now. And so we can see as well that the total supply is 170 million. So that's the exact same. And they're going to continue to burn those until the total supply is down to 100 million. 
So this is the exact same thing that KCS is doing as well. So this is definitely something that I'm gonna be keeping an eye on going forward. I think it has a lot of potential. Binance coin went very quickly from $5 to $50, and then it went from 50 to 700 very quickly, especially as more tokens started to build on the BSC smart chain. So I think there is definitely that potential with KCC here going forward. And so I'd like to take a look at one last thing here. And so I'd like to take a look at what is token burning. So token burning is a concept that refers to removing tokens from circulation and provides a deflationary feature. And so they end up actually burning these tokens, which makes the cryptocurrency a deflationary token. And so I'd like to take a look at this down here as well. And so the KuCoin team has completed the 17th KCS burn on the 17th of April, where 348,241 KCS were burned amounting to 10% of the total April income for KuCoin. And so those 348,241 KCS were approximately $12 at the time. And so that equates to about $4.2 million. And so since that was only 10% of their total April income, that would mean that they produced about $42 million in just April. And so let's say that they make that over a 12 month period, that means that they'd be producing about $500 million in annual income. And this cryptocurrency is currently only trading at $1 billion. And so I definitely think there's a lot of potential for KuCoin token here in the future, especially if Bitcoin starts to become bullish and starts to go up, I would not be surprised to see KuCoin hit $100 here in the next few months or by the end of the year. And so especially since they have launched KCC, that means that a lot of these smaller cryptocurrencies will start building cryptocurrencies on that platform. And if they really start to take off like they did on Binance Smart Chain, I think a lot of people are going to be buying KuCoin token to purchase those cryptocurrencies. And so that is only going to increase the value of these going forward. And so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.